Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Raw with Rosie. Um, no, raw foods did not age me. <laughs> this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I actually wanted to go back to my natural colors. You can see it here, my natural color, I've been letting it grow, is gray. I've been a premature gray for many decades and every two weeks I had to um, dye my roots just to maintain this pretty dark color I have here and I just got tired of it I got tired of putting so many chemicals in my head and doing it all the time and I wanted to go salt and pepper but they weren't able to do the salt and pepper I had to one last time chemically treat it to blend that gray in so I won't look like Corella Deville as I'm letting it grow and they couldn't do the salt and pepper because there was too much dye in my natural hair so they lightened it as much as they could and that purple tint you see there is a purple shampoo that I'm using to kind of get rid of that yellow because I don't like that blonde yellow look I actually eventually as it grows I want it a pretty white silver um, the girl who did it, oh my god, Megan, she's amazing. Love you, Megan, you're the best. Um, she did a great job. I like it. I don't love it <laughs> because it's very hard for me to see myself look like I've aged. But, and I also miss my dark hair. Uh, my family is not a fan of it. They don't like it. My, a lot of family members and friends have been telling me that I could have bought a dark black natural henna that has no chemicals and they could have kept doing it but again that would have been something a process I would have had to keep doing and I was just tired of constantly worrying about covering my gray so I am gonna stick with it I'm gonna see where it takes me and changing the subject really quick I would ask you guys to let me know what you think, but I know what most of you are going to think. My black hair looks better, and I agree, but I'm going to, like I said, I'll give it a go. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm in Arizona. We, we are in Arizona. We moved from Utah to Arizona. Um, the beginning, oh, no, I would say around July. Yeah, we moved to Arizona, but we were living on the military Air Force Base for almost two months, about a month and a half, until we found a home. We found many homes, kind of put an offer in them. They didn't go through, but our wonderful realtor, Matt Hyatt, love you, Matt Hyatt, uh, he found us a house, finally. This is a little tour of this tiny kitchen. You guys, it's a small kitchen smaller home than Utah which I like and let's see if I could stabilize this iPad here I'm actually putting it on a basket of lemons <laughs> yeah I'm trying to play around with the light and you could hear the echo because it's there's still a lot of furniture that we don't have here I've been playing around with the light I'm sorry, I keep hearing a noise outside. It's my Halloween decorations are hitting the wall. So I'm playing around with the lighting in here to see where I could videotape recipes. I want to get back to making recipes. I'm in Arizona with my grandchildren. My eight grandchildren live here. I have two children, two kids who live here, my oldest daughter and my youngest son. My other son still lives in Hawaii and I, all my grandkids live here, so I've been spending an enormous amount of time with them, getting to know them again, because I've never really lived in the same state as them. And that's been fun. My mother's doing great. She's in the facility here. I visit with her many times during the week and spend lots of time. And as many of you know, she had scared us before many times, and she's doing way better. God bless her. She's an amazing person. Um, Next week is Halloween. Yes, it took us this long to settle in, find a home, and 
finally, like I said, settle in, basically. Uh, we're still not completely settled in. We're still buying furniture. Got Had to get rid of a lot of the old stuff and trying to buy new stuff. Um, going to start making videos. Next week is Halloween, like I said, and I want to do a Halloween video on my healthy Halloween snacks that my grandkids will be eating finally this year here because uh, they've been having a little bit of issues transitioning to uh, grandma's way of eating, but it's been working. I did uh, cave in many times to them and, you know, bought them their cooked foods that they like, but trying to transition them to a natural um plant-based diet rather it's cooked than raw but yeah quick update just wanted to give you guys a look at my hair and my new place so you won't get shocked when i start making videos uh let me know what you guys think of everything my new look i'll take it even if it's negative <laughs> And please subscribe to my channel so you guys can get notified. Hit the red subscribe button down there and the bell next to it so you guys can get notification every time I make a video. And thank you guys so much for supporting me. Bye-bye.